Clothes, is it? It is clothes. Why do you not get some of the fashions in? <laughs> what, what's the name of the shop? Uh, Bearing in mind this is the BBC and you can't tell us. <laughs> right, what was it called? Planet. Planet? Mm -hmm. Right. Hands up if you know Planet. <laughs> Thanks, pal. Yeah. I think that round of applause tells you just exactly how popular Planet is. <laughs> so if I was going to buy something nice for my wife out of mm -hmm. Planet, you know, what, what would a top like that sent me back? About 60 pounds. About 60 pounds? Uh -huh. All right. What's that? 55? 65? What is it? 59.95. 59.95. There you are. See, I wasn't tempted at 60, but 59.95. <laughs> I think I'll go for it. All right, Jill, uh, Tracy, Gillian, nice talking to you. Again, give them a round of applause. What the hell's that? Oh, Christ, they're not at it again. I hope that... Bloody. It's been happening all the time. Oh no, look at that! Oh! <laughs> Bloody rodents! <laughs> They're all over the place! Oh! That could be Ronnie. Hi, Fred, it's Ronnie. Hurry up, it's freezing out here. Come on up. Ronnie, I, I want this show to go well uh, down south, and uh, uh -huh. I, think I'm, I think I'm a bit Scottish, so I want you to, to help me with my accent. No, but I don't know, uh, Scottish is really, really good. It's very, very fashionable with the yeah. media. Yeah. yeah. Think about me, smiley, smiley, girl, smiley! <laughs> She's a girly, I mean, I can't do girly voices. And um, Lorraine Kelly's very popular at the moment. Yeah. Because she's very sort of cosy and smug, oh, she's isn't great. she? If you've, if you've just joined us, where have you been, sleepyhead? <laughs> okay, no, it's the first show, it's the last show we're doing before Christmas, so I hope you have a lovely, cosy wee time. I hope Santa brings you what you want. But let's not forget the true meaning of Christmas which is, of course, to get as pissed at as a fart. <laughs> I think she'd, she'd be a great girl to have uh, an affair with, because it wouldn't matter how crap you were, you'd say, how was that for you? She'd go, brilliant! <laughs> this is my dress nut box. Well, it's nice, be cosy, like cosy, it? roasty, toasty, cottage by the coasty. <laughs> nice, lovely. Where have you been? Where have you been? Let's get pissed. <laughs> You could do, um, because Manchester's a very good voice to do, because uh -huh. it's very laid back. If you think of... Think of Caroline and her and the royal family, yeah. You know, because if you've got guests, you can be dead and pathetic, you know, and you can yeah. say, ah. <laughs> Sue Barker, here <laughs> I've actually had that heckle. <laughs> so I've been on stage and somebody went, you're better looking than Sue Barker. <laughs> Are you going to do a three bit then? Well, I don't know. Could I do Caroline? Caroline, I That's very good. That's very good. You should. Uh, yeah, we could go a wee bit. Um, do you want if you if you want it to be popular in the south? You could do Peggy. Peggy Mitchell. I've got the very wig for that. <laughs> you should go a bit of a key phrase with her, which is well. I'm sorry, Frank. Well, I'm sorry, Frank. One thing I've learned about Peggy is she's got no air in his, her lungs when she talks whatsoever. But all the air out of your lungs. Frank. Frank. Sorry, Frank. I'm gone blue in the face, Frank. <laughs> Ronnie, what if I wanted to be international? Uh, uh, Audrey Hepburn has to be the hardest international person to do. <laughs> Eat your heart like, out. She's in the room, isn't it? It is like she's, oh, I feel a little. Mm. Don't know if I could possibly don't be sad, Fred. Don't know if I could show you how to do Audrey. She's so completely and utterly different from you, darling. Oh, he's got the full works. I can't believe it. You <laughs> would marry you for your money in a minute, Fred, darling. Would you marry me? Teach, what's, the, what's the trick? I mean, I can do the lungs out, That's I can do we'll the air out. We'll spend the whole day doing things Spend you've it. never done before. Done before? First things you've never done. First things you've never done. Then me. <laughs> me. Because I can't think of anything I've yeah. never done, darling. Because I can't think of something I've never done, <laughs> darling. <laughs> 
Ronnie, Keep listen, thanks for teaching me Thank all that. Thank you for the coloured walk. Crikey, look at the time. I've been booked to do a celebrity book sign. I'm going to have to go. Right, Ronnie, right, thanks very that's much. Fine. Right. That's brilliant. Chuck me Thank right. you, darling. I've got to go and do a book signing. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Ronnie Ancona. Yeah. Thanks very much. See you, studio face audience. Take care of yourselves while I'm gone. Again, for goodness sake, what's going on now? Oh no, it's the neighbour's cat! <laughs> get out of it, get out of the garden! Look, it's just shit all over my vegetables. Oh, I'm, I'm sick of living here, I really am sick of here. I wish I could move out of the country and into the city, I really do. Absolutely fed up. <laughs> Watch out for the cars! Oh, Tiddles is dead. Oh, my, my over here. This I had delivered last week, you might remember if you saw the show. It's my topical fish tank. Let's see what's in it tonight. There we are. We've got two Jaguars. We've got a pair of French knickers. <laughs> it can only be John Prescott, because he was at the conference on global warming. Dominique Voigny, the French environment minister, called Prescott a macho sexist, to which Prescott said, What do you expect? You probably had the painters in. <laughs> Prescott apparently went on, I suppose now I've offended you, a shags out the question. <laughs> Any late news, mini barman? Yes, there is, thank goodness for that, thank you very much. Oh, no late news, it says, Fred, show them your t-shirt, all right? There's been a, you know, pop stars have been wearing t-shirts with the names of all their pals as a mark of respect, so I've had this done, see what you think. <laughs> It to ladies and gentlemen, show your appreciation for tonight's mini barman, Rob McLean. <laughs> Thanks very much. That's it from next week's 10:35 Friday. And my guests are Jonathan Ross and singer Catherine Williams. Now, hang on, hang on, hang on. Before we go, these baldy folk, you, I spotted you earlier on when I was in the audience. What's going on here? There's something wrong. Listen, you stand up. You stand up. Please stand up, you move there, right, swap over, that's okay, you're okay, up you get you, you get up, you sit there, you sit there, right, over you go, you sit right at the very end, and it's starting to make sense, tilt your heads forward, what does it say? Yeah.